User authentication begins with passwords, but then Manager can extend functionality for user authentication far beyond that. On the left tree pane in Thin Manager, navigate to and select Thin Manager Users. Let's double click into one of our users to open the Thin Manager User Configuration Wizard. On the initial screen, we have a box, a checkbox for Active Directory User Sync. You will notice that the button for password options is grayed out. If we uncheck the AD user checkbox, we can now click on the password options. These options are great for smaller company installs where they might not have an Active Directory set up for their users, or if you have specific Thin Manager users you might want to manage outside of Active Directory. First, you see we have password complexity requirements, options for requiring numbers, upper and lowercase letters, as well as symbols in your passwords. Next, we have password maintenance. These options allow users to make password changes, force a password change at next login, as well as rules for frequency of required password changes. The next section is for lockout policy for failed login attempts, as well as duration of that lockout. We do also give administrators a button to immediately unlock an account. Lastly, there's an option for caching passwords for a certain duration. This can be handy for a user operator to ease the need to constantly log in at a terminal over a certain given time. We can cancel out of password options. I will go ahead and recheck our AD user sync option. You can see that, the right, that right next to the password options button, there's a button for pin options. Selecting the pin options button gives us options to create and maintain a pin for the user for an easier login option or to use for multi-factor authentication. We have options for pin length, complexity, and pin maintenance, just like with passwords. Also like with passwords, you can require the user to change their pin at next login. Lastly, you can set the pin and verify it. Let's go ahead and set a pin for Adam the user we are currently configuring. I'm going to set the pin as 1, 2, 3, 4, and then verify that. Then I will click OK. Because we have the Active Directory user checkbox checked, clicking the Next button brings us to, to Active Directory options where we have additional options for password management. Clicking Next again brings us to Card Badge Information. You can see that this is where we can manage badges as well as enable a secondary form of authentication with either the password or the new PIN. We can also set up fingerprints for a biometric fingerprint scanner. You can also see we have the options for manually logging in. By default, it will prompt for a password, but we can uncheck that and check to prompt for the PIN that we have just set. The other option on the screen is for login methods. This gives the options of the types of login methods we, we want to allow for this user. I'm just going to leave all the options and click OK. From here, we can just select Finish. Now, before we test this pin out, let's make one quick change to our terminal. Our terminal itself is set in configuration to ask for a password, even though the user is set to require a pin on manual login. If we leave that, they will be prompted for both the password from the terminal and the PIN from the user. So on the left tree pane in Thin Manager, let's navigate to and select Terminals. Now we can double click into the 6300T terminal to open the Terminal Configuration Wizard. We will use the Next button to navigate to the Login Requirements screen. Under Manual Login, we will uncheck Prompt for Password and select Prompt for PIN. Now we can simply click Finish. This configuration change does not require the terminal to be restarted, unlike many configuration changes. If a restart is required, you will see an indicator in the left tree pane on that terminal. Now let's try to log into the terminal. We can just shadow the terminal by selecting the Shadow tab. By hovering in the middle top of the display, we will find our menu where we can access the main menu and login option. I will select Login. I will type in Adam and I am presented with the pin screen for authentication. I'll use my keyboard to type in our pin of 1234. 
We are authenticated and logged in. We are presented with both the display clients assigned to Adam's user group and anything assigned to Adam himself. We also see the motor schematic that was already assigned to the terminal. Pins and Thin Manager are a great way to use multi-factor authentication in conjunction with a badge or fingerprint scanner. Some customers have taken advantage of using pins instead of passwords because of the need to use work gloves in production or just really just as it may be simpler to use on a touch screen. Regardless of why and how you may want to use a pin in Thin Manager, we make sure it is delivered securely and with a simple setup. To learn more about security and Thin Manager users, visit thinmanager.com.